intimately whatever conversation we have about evolution and creation is important as they might be. Please don't forget the most important part. The gospel. Okay, can you handle some questions? They're pretty pointed questions. Sure. Are you a good person? Are you going to make it to heaven? <laughs> Are you a good person? Are you going to make it to heaven? Um, I would like to think so. Lies have you told in your whole life? I... 99 little white lies on the wall. 99 little white lies. You take one down, pass it around. What would you call me if I told lots of lies? Countless lies. You'd call me a liar, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> um, I'd call you a, a pastor, <laughs> uh, a reverend, um, minister, father. <laughs> uh, <laughs> missionary, um, what else? Evangelist. <laughs> you ever stolen something in your whole life, even if it's small? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I stole something once, but, yeah, but then I gave it back. <laughs> uh, Santa, damn it! Leave me like that. <laughs> You know, you're kind of cute. <laughs> so by your own omission, you're a liar, a thief, and you've taken Santa's name in vain. I don't believe in blaspheming because I don't believe in Santa. How can it be a bad thing if I don't believe in Santa? How can it be blaspheming? Blaspheming. Blaspheming. <laughs> you know? I mean... So the law is no excuse. So we're still guilty even though we deny a law exists or we even don't know about it. Santa said that if you look at a woman and lust for her, that is definitely uh, doing a bad thing and you won't get any toys for Christmas. How does that make you feel? Uh, did you change your voice? You sound like me. Um, I don't honestly think I need to have a carrot to do good things or be a good person. I don't need to have like little incentives or brownie points in heaven or anything like that. And I don't think I've looked at women with lust, but if I look at people with lust, I think that's perfectly natural, normal human behavior. <laughs> Put your finger on it and see if we can. Your struggle at the moment is because of your love of sin, because of the pleasure that sin gives you and you don't want to give it up. You're like a man with a a muddy belt filled with gold has just fallen into the ocean. I'm saying, if you don't get rid of that belt that weighs 80 pounds, it's going to take you under. It doesn't matter how much pleasure it gives you, it's not worth losing your life for. But, I am... Um, <laughs> I'm not a man, first of all. Um, and uh, I don't really think that um, there's such a thing as sin, Santa. I think that, you know, I won't lose my life because I... I make mistakes. I think I'm just going to die at the end of whatever because that's what happens to people and that's it. You know, and if I make mistakes, oh well, I apologize if I hurt somebody because of it. And I know I know that's kind of a weird concept for you, but <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought you were just gonna ask me some questions. <laughs> are you gonna like now you're gonna preach at me? I wait, you said at the start of this it was just you were gonna ask me a few questions and now you're gonna go into this long out preachy thing at me? <laughs> wow, way to entrap your audience, Santa. Or whatever you are, disciple of Santa. You know, that's not really cool. You 
It's like, you know, you, you false advertisement. You, oh, I just have some questions, and now you're going to just like, <sighs> now you're going to preach. Wow, you know. Uh, okay, um, not cool. You know, I take issue with people who believe in Santa, you know. It would be okay if they kept it to themselves in the privacy of their own home, but to go out and judge other people and call other people, you know, ugh, sinners and, and imply that if they don't believe in Santa too, they deserve to not get any toys. I, I just think that's wrong. I think that's wrong. Yeah, I just think it's wrong. And it's, I think it's really amazingly tacky when you, you try to get people to answer questions thinking it's just a simple question and answer thing and then you just launch into a soapbox get up on your soapbox and start preaching at people like you know your idea of reality is 100% true and you have absolutely no evidence to back it up with but you're just going to presume that your world your perception of reality is true and you're going to look down on other people and Act like the teacher. Yeah, judge people. Seems a little uncool to me. So I'm sorry, Santa, but I will continue to believe in things that actually have evidence that back them up and support them. I know it's it's pretty simple. If there's if there's something to show that something is true, you know, something that supports that something exists. It makes sense to me to think that it exists, but for something that no evidence at all. Tell you what, you know, you're you're a good you're a good little puppet. You go trundle on off and find me some evidence to show that Santa exists. And once you bring that evidence back and show me, you know, that Santa exists, then we'll talk, okay? In the meantime, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Yeah, I hate that puppet.